we are today from three or four months ago. Remember they were saying? He's going to get us into nuclear war, they said. Nuclear. No, no, no. Strength is going to keep us out of nuclear war. Not going to get us in. But it's always been the end of the world. And I'm... We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. You know you can smoke and drink for the first three months and it won't impact the baby. I don't want to risk it. Have you told Eric? Not yet. Well, what are you waiting for? I think he deserves to know. I know, I just... I mean, you are going to keep it, right? Of course. And I'm going to tell him, I just... He doesn't worry about the same things that I do. Still, with the politics? I can't just check out from all the chaos. What chaos, Becky? Look around you, everything is fine. Hey, Eric. Yeah? <laughs> Where did this come from? Oh, uh, some guy knocked earlier and dropped it off. It looked like a weirdo selling carpet cleaner. Where's, uh, where's Ashley? Oh, she just left. Why? No reason. Good morning. Can I help you? I stopped by yesterday, uh, dropped off a flyer. Yeah, we got the flyer. And I'm sure you went ahead and looked it up and cross-checked all my sources and uh, my quotes. I didn't just pull them out of this thin, polluted air. Um, I, no, I really haven't had the chance to yet. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, basically, it just lets you know that the president's been tweeting about strengthening our nuclear capacity. Since World War II and the Cold War, the United States has led the charge in the disarmament of nuclear weapons. It's a bipartisan effort. It always has been. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm like half asleep still. That's okay. We're, um, we're having a meeting down the street at the community center. You should come. Maybe. 
Well, I'll be speaking about how we can organize a coalition to fight this ridiculous rhetoric. A nuclear war threatens our national security. I'm kind of busy, actually, so... How about um, if you write down your name and email? I could send you more info. Sadly, it seems not many people care about the future of the human race. My contact information's on the flyer. Feel free to reach out if you need anything. I know it can be tough during these trying times. Hope to see you there. Carpet salesman? Yeah, same guy. Waste of time. Thanks again for coming to the meeting. Yeah. Can't believe nobody else showed up. So, um, do you have kids? Uh, no, not yet. You? No. I want some someday. That's why I'm doing this whole thing. For the future of our family, our civilization, somebody's gotta save us. Hey, it's me. Um, I haven't heard from you all day, so I just wanted to see what you wanted to do for dinner tonight. Um, I kind of want to check out that pizza place downtown if that's cool, but uh, never mind. <laughs> it looks like you're home, so I'll see you in a minute.
Hey, Alex. Hi, um, it's Becky. Yeah, um, hey, can you meet me? You know, the value of aluminum's gone up 14% since he came into office. Really? Where the hell have you been? I've been calling you for hours. What are you doing here? What's going on? Uh, we're kind of busy. Doing what? Getting ready. For the nuclear holocaust. Can I talk to you inside for a sec? Give me a minute. Sure. Do you still want me to bring these cans in? Uh, just, no, just hold on. What the heck is going on here? What's all this food? What are these batteries? Eric, you need to get your stuff and move out. I am so sorry, Beck. I don't know, she came over and said hi, and I don't know, I was feeling stressed because I got laid off at work, and it was a mistake. It'll never happen again. Eric, get out of my house. But what about the baby? How do you know about that? Ashley told me. Becky, please. Get out of my house, Eric. Well, what about, what about him? He's helping me. Look, you can turn off the worry. I can't. I need to do this. I hope that I'm wrong, but I have to be ready. You like him, don't you? You don't listen to me. God, you are losing it. You have come, gone completely over the deep end. You know, none of this would have happened if you hadn't gone to that stupid meeting. This is entirely your fault. Just take your flowers and leave. Nice meeting you. Eric, stop! <laughs> Sorry the president ruined your life. I think he thinks we like each other. You and me? There's no time for romance. You see that, right? Of course. I'll take these in. All the women and men I've ever known Have troubles that they want to call their own They think they're gonna die someday And they struggle to keep the thought away But it's always